our Missouri team. Hey, Coach Norm Stewart of the Tigers, there's Stan Albeck, and Stan doesn't have the curly hair anymore. I hardly knew him when I walked <laughs> in the building tonight. And both Norm and Stan, very good friends. The Tigers come out to the court now. Stan Albeck, who's coached in the NBA. This is his fifth year with Bradley. A 69 and 54 record. Of course, he came in here with Hersey Hawkins, who was an All-American. They have his number 33 retired here at Carver Arena. And Norm Stewart is trying to get his young basketball team together. 20 minutes up on the scoreboard clock here at Carver Arena in Peoria, Illinois. With Gary Thompson, I'm John Rooney. Sit back and enjoy tonight's ball game as the Missouri Tigers try to get back to the 500 mark. They come into this one two and three. Santa Houston for Bradley and Doug Smith for Missouri. There's Javon Crudup and Jamal Coleman. Bradley will play mostly a man-to-man -man at times, a 1-3-1 zone. And that's what they come out in. They come out in the zone. They played out at the point. They played some 1-3-1 zone against uh, UTEP the other night and talked to their people. It wasn't very effective. Doug Smith on the board for Missouri, and the Tigers are out to a 2-0 lead here. The thing that Bradley is trying to do in this ball game uh, is what they try to do down against uh, El Paso is make the Tigers beat them from outside. they got to try and take away the inside game. Charles White, who really isn't a true point guard, and that shot counts. That's Andy Bastock, averaging four points a game. They're hoping to get a little more rebounding out of him, and he comes out and scores the first basket for the Braves. Yeah, he's really a garbage man, an inside player, strong rebounder. The other starter, uh, junior James Bailey, has not been giving him much offense and practically no rebounding, so they've gone with, with Bostock. Doug Smith runs down the missed shot by Coleman. And Doug is stripped of the ball, and Charles White has a steal. Doug Smith pokes it away, but White saves it. Bradley and Missouri tied it to the early going, 1855, left in the first half in Peoria. Charles White on the point for Bradley. That's Stuckey, and that's a three. I was going to say, White really not a true point guard as you look at Stuckey coming back, averaging 32 points. He was a small forward in, uh, in high school. Stuckey played at Drake for three semesters and then transferred to the Bradley program. Doug Smith out of the point. Coleman was open and cut off by Bastock. Coleman coming out for two good ball games, 18 points, 15 against Arkansas. Booker can't get it, Xanthus Houston does for the Bradley Braves. Here comes Charles White. White is guarded by Melvin Booker. And the Tigers play man-to-man. -man. They came out in the box and won against Arkansas, but after the first trip down the floor, went to another zone. Houston in the middle. There is Bastock with the follow. He's fouled, and he'll get a three-point play opportunity. That's exactly the type of player that Bastock is. Hits the boards. He kept that first shot alive by just tipping it back up, and then went back up and got it. Kept it alive. Now he comes back in, retrieves it, goes up strong, puts it up off the glass. And we said a garbage-type player. He's going to be around that board all night long. Tigers are going to have to put uh, a body on him. Javon Crudup did and got called for a foul. That's his first, the first on the Tigers. Now Andy Bastock, who's from Lorain, Ohio, Four out of eight from the free throw line, five for nine from the free throw line this season. He has five points, and the Bradley lead is eight to two. Bradley doesn't apply much full court pressure unless the Braves need to come back in a game. This is just kind of a nuisance press right here, not really hard pressure. Trying to take some time off the clock. That's Javon Crudup. He's averaging 13.6 a game in his first season with Missouri. Right back the other way, Bastock dumping it off, and Hamilton scores. James Hamilton's first basket. And Bastock has already made his presence felt. Not only is he scoring and rebounding, Gary, he dishes off for an assist. That's right. His momentum was going to take him beyond the basket, and good presence of mind there to get the feet back. Booker's open, no shot. Smith will take it. Doug can't get the roll, and there's Charles White. He averages six rebounds a game for a point guard. White all the way, misses on the finger roll. Back the other way, Booker for Missouri. Melvin weaving through traffic. Coleman saves it in the corner. He's hit by White, no foul. Good pass. Doug Smith hands it back out. Javon Crudup. Crudup gets his rebound, puts the follow-up in, and he walked with the ball. No basket. It's waved off because of the traveling call. Let's watch the action again here as the shot goes up. See Crudup in between there, gets it on the pivot. It's called for the walk, but again, Missouri was on the boards, and that's what they're going to have to do is play strong. The Tigers have turned the ball over twice. Bradley has yet to make a mistake, and the Braves are leading 10-4. Bastock was fouled by Warren, and he came awfully close to the line with Bastock, the baseline. 
before that could be discovered. Jeff Warren was whistled for a foul, and here's another look at it. Well, Jeff Warren, maybe the best uh, inside defender in the Missouri Tigers. This time gets uh, lets Bastock get a little advantage on him, and then reaches and grabs. I thought Bastock was a little bit closer to the baseline. That's Stuckey has scored two baskets now. And back come the Missouri Tigers. That was a three. He has two three-point shots. 13 to four. Bradley with the lead. Well, Stuckey's low ball game this year so far is 28 points. His high is 39, which uh, ties his career high from last year. Coleman, and he got that even though Bastock came up to slightly deflect the shot. The Tigers are going to have to have more of that, that outside shooting. They're going to have to have uh, the perimeter. Uh, shots, I think, to open up on the inside. I agree. Everybody all year long uh, until they do that is going to really sag inside, try to take away the inside game. Up big and strong on the rebound for Missouri, Melvin Booker. He averages two of those a game. Here's Doug Smith, and he's fouled by Bastock. Two shots coming up for Doug Smith for Bastock. That's his first personal. And the first team foul on Bradley. Here it is. Nice pass to Tavrick. Doug puts it down on the floor and goes up and then gets hacked behind. Good foul right there because you keep Doug from making the easy two. Send him to the line and make him uh, make a couple free throws, but that's not a picnic either for Bradley because he's an excellent free throw here in the early going of the season, 80%. 20 out of 25. Doug Smith had 21 points and 10 rebounds last season against Bradley. He scores his third point tonight. Keeps adding it to his total. He's the fourth Tiger to pass that 1,500 point mark this year. Coach Chivas, Stefanovic, and Sunbowl. Two free throws for Doug Smith. He has four points. We have a timeout on the floor. 15-59 left in the first half. 13-8. Bradley with the lead on the Mizzou Sports Network. Honey, your mom and I are doing just fine. That's not the point. Look, you don't need to use that money to pay off our house. I know that I don't need to. I want to. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Oh, I love you, baby. No, I love you, too. <laughs> For this Master Mechanic cordless drill and screwdriver is only $27.95. And the cordless Master Mechanic wrench with all steel strength is just $37.99. A revolutionary fiber steel ratchet is part of this Master Mechanic 27-piece socket set, only $29.99. And give the Master Mechanic tool center of heavy gauge steel just $44.99 at participating True Value hardware stores and home centers. What kind of insurance do you need? Well, there is an insurance company that offers a full range of insurance for all your needs. That company is Farm Bureau Insurance, and we offer car and truck insurance, homeowners and renters insurance, farm and crop insurance, health and disability, and life insurance. Farm Bureau Insurance. For all your insurance needs, all you need is us. University of Missouri Tiger basketball rights have been granted to SNI Sports Network solely for the entertainment of our audience. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the accounts of this game without the express written consent of SNI Sports Network is prohibited. From the field, the Bradley Braves are just a little bit hotter than the Missouri Tigers right now. 13-8, Bradley with the lead. And full court pressure for the Tigers on the Bradley Braves. And this is what I'm talking about. 3 of 7 for Mizzou, 5 of 8 for Bradley. Bradley breaks the pressure. Stucky is hounded now by Warren in the corner. Last pass so off court by Bradley is what you try and make him do off that press. A little long floater pass that gives the defense a chance to get there. And that one won't go down for James Hamilton. Bradley really pleased with his young freshman James Hamilton. 6'7", 200 pounds out of Michigan. Boy, that was pretty, Gary. Getting set, Doug Smith gunned down his shot. He has six points. Doug got set, went straight up, shot the ball right at the top of his jump. And pulls Missouri within three. 13-10 now, Bradley. Here's Stucky. He scores so many ways, Gary. Yeah. Just like that, he can hit the outside shot, and you never know how he's going to beat you. Well, and the penetration uh, not only shoots the outside shot, but he's a good penetrator, which really helps him with the outside shot because you got to lay off. And then when he penetrates, you pick him up, he'll dish it off. He's the leading assist man. Wow, what a strong move by Jeff Warren for his first two points. He had 20 against Arkansas. His career high at Mizzou. 
Eight out of ten against the Razorbacks. He's shooting 72% on the year. Does take many shots, but he's hit 13 out of 18. Now Houston inside. In on Javon Crudup. Crudup stays up, up big and strong. He didn't leave his feet that time or come in with the body. And the foul goes against Bradley Sandy Bostock. Bostock, it is, commits his second personal. You know, I you see the influence of this uh, Tiger coaching staff already on Crudup because he uh, did a great job keeping his hands up there and out of the play and not committing the foul. Made himself tall that way and didn't leave his feet. Now the Tigers have a chance to pull within two or tie the game with three points on this trip. Jamal Coleman at the three-point line. And now out front, Booker. James Bailey will check in in a moment for Bradley while the Tigers run the ball on offense. This is Doug Smith. Booker won't take the shot around Bastock. Smith saves it as Warren couldn't catch the ball. 19 on the shot clock. Coleman just throws up the shot and a foul's call. So there's a break for the Tigers. Wasn't a very good shot. Not very good shot selection at all for Missouri that time. Never gets some action the referee right in there, but there's uh, Jamal Coleman penetrating and putting up a really an off-balance shot. Fortunate enough to draw the foul. Stuckey with the foul, his first and the third on the Bradley Braves. The Tigers have committed two team fouls. This was Jamal Coleman, the junior from Denver. Eight out of 14 from the free throw line, Gary. I think there's the kind of play defensively for young players is when you get a guy in that position, that's when you have to learn to come off. Make him hit that shot on you instead of putting Coleman to the line because most offensive players now, when they go to the line, they forget about that they took a bad shot because they go to the line, he hits the first free throw and he has a chance to bank two points. The free throw goes for Coleman. He's two for two and the Tigers are four for four as a team from the line so far. Reggie Smith comes in. Jamal Coleman goes out for Missouri. Coming in for the Bradley Braves, James Bailey. Missouri set up in a 1-2-2 press. Now Stuckey breaks and moves in on Warren, who has called for a block. Stuckey very, very quick. Got a step on Warren, and for yeah, Jeff, that early second foul. Right, you look there, I thought he should have given the ball off early to the wingman. He took it in there, and now he has to go to the line and uh, make two free throws. Or if he had given that ball off, uh, they would have had a cinch, too. The Tigers have committed three team fouls, right along with the Braves. Now, Curtis Stuckey, a senior from Peoria, will step up to the free throw line. There's Norm Stewart in his 24th year with this Tiger program. Now, Stuckey is shooting 47% from the field. He hasn't really been a high percentage shooter in his college career. No, he's a scorer, really. He'll put up a number of shots. This kid, Stuckey, played at Drake, transferred from Drake, played three semester over, uh, semesters over there. And, of course, Missouri fans will remember this guy, Gary Garner, was coaching there and recruited Stuckey. Ten points for Stuckey. He played one semester under Tom with Marco and then transferred here. Stuckey in double figures already with ten. Inside, Crudup. And he got the kind roll. Crudup has four points. He comes in averaging 13.6 a game. That shot was off and gone, John, before the defensive man could even react. That's why with the Tiger quickness, I think with some game action and a little more game experience, they're going to be very good by season's end. They haven't been bad already, even though they lost uh, some ball there. A Missouri foul inside. And if it's on Warren, that's his third foul. It is. Three personals on Jeff, four team fouls on the Tigers. No, the Tigers haven't been bad at all, Gary, but you can see little things like the turnovers, the missed free throws, things that a young team will do, those mistakes that will evaporate as they get better, as they as they play more games. And as I was watching the Arkansas game, maybe a shot when they got tied, uh, uh, an ill-advised shot when they, they had possession and had the ball game tied. And it's little things like that that keep you making the uh, keep them ball. As Curtis Stuckey give him 12 in the first half, 19 to 16, Bradley. Booker runs the offense for Missouri. Reggie Smith cut off in a double team. And on the steal, Xanthus Houston, number 21. White finds Stuckey. This is White inside the three-point line. That's a two-point shot. Everything going for Bradley right now because White is not known as a good outside shooter. He has two points. 21-16 and a five-point Bradley lead here. Booker and Smith play outside. Reggie Smith at a guard. Doug Smith on the inside. Booker shoots a two. That shot there, that uh, those wing shots uh, outside, that 
it's going to be available anytime Missouri wants it. Booker's first basket of the game, he's averaging nine points for North Shore. The pick was set by Hamilton, now he takes the pass out high. There's Stuckey shooting a three, way off this time. An air ball, out of bounds it is, Xanthus Houston couldn't save it. Missouri's ball from the inline in the backcourt with 12-22 left in the first half. 21-18, Missouri trails as the Tigers now attack the defense of the Bradley Braves. We were looking earlier at Stan Albeck, who is a Bradley alum, graduated here in 55. Uh, a foul ball against Hamilton, pushing on Curtis. Or was it on Xavier? Or is it Xanthus Houston, excuse me, let's find out. It was Hamilton. That's his first foul. 14 fouls on the Bradley Braves, and here's the play. You see Hamilton on the push from behind. He's the real blue chip uh, recruit on this club this year, and they've been happy with him so far. Double figures the first four games. Drops out uh, against uh, UTEP the other night. First time he's been out of double figures. You saw Jamal Coleman come out. You saw number 41, Chris Heller, enter the game. Chris is 6'10", 210 pounds, a sophomore from Kansas City. Missouri is down 21-18. That's Booker at the three-point line. This is Booker. And that's a shot for two. Four points for Melvin Booker. I'd like to see him stay high. Well, he shot the ball. You know, he's got off to a good start for a freshman in the shooting. 51% from the field and then almost 50, well, 44% on the three-point shooting. Reggie Smith is called for holding on Curtis Stuckey. First foul on Reggie Smith. The Tigers have committed 14 fouls. And we have a timeout on the court. 11.48 to go in the first half in Peoria. Bradley with a 21-20 lead. We'll be back in a moment. This is the Mizzou Sports Network. Are you still living with this nightmare? Over a million motorists have said never again. They've switched to Triple Edge, and the difference is amazing. Triple Edge is the world's first high-tech windshield wiper. It clears, it cleans, it wipes dry, all in a single pass. But that's not all. Triple Edge wipers won't tear, dry rot, or freeze to your windshield. They're made from DuPont Nordell, the same material used in 50,000-mile radial tires. So strong, they're guaranteed for as long as you own your car. If they ever fail, will replace them free. Triple Edge gives you visibility through the heaviest downpour. It whisks away snow and ice. Even mud is no match for Triple Edge. The day after I got my Triple Edge wipers, we had a big snowstorm with blowing sleet and wind. Everybody had trouble seeing except me. My visibility was beautiful. Join the satisfied million who have switched to Triple Edge. No noise, no streaking, no smearing, no tearing. Triple Edge wipers are only $19.95 a pair. Custom fit to install in seconds on your car, van, or truck. Order yours now. They're the last windshield wipers you'll ever buy. Call toll-free 1-800-522-9898 or send $19.95 plus $4.50 shipping and handling to Triple Edge Wipers, P.O. Box 20, Los Angeles, California. Please include your car or cars make, model, and year for correct sizing. Use your credit card and call now, 1-800-522-9898. As we come back, take a look at number 32, Curtis Stuckey. He's had three games of better than 30 points this season. There's one basket, and here's another one. He's going to get fouled on this one, the chance to go to the line, but uh, he's 40% of their offense. He's taken 40% of their field goal attempts. He has 12 points. And if he doesn't break free at the end line, then he's going to the free throw line a lot. Doug Smith just throws it up for grabs around some black jerseys to Javon Crudel. Good heads up play by Doug Smith. We mentioned on our first telecast, Gary, how it's so hard for Doug to keep from trying to do everything. That's true. On the inside, Heller with the putback. He has been on the offensive boards all year long. He had a high of 14 rebounds against Oregon, but he's getting more offensive rebounds than he has defensive here in the early part of the season. I think he had 17 offense and 15 defensive rebounds coming into the nice game. Doug Smith plays back. This is Stuckey's baseline jumper. Don't go. Reggie Smith is there for Missouri in the lane. Doug Smith oh. on the basket. Reggie Smith with the assist, and Doug has eight points. And good luck right there with a good catch by Smith. That, that play looks easy when he does it, but it's not that, it's not that easy. The Tigers have a 24-21 lead now. 
Heller with a nice foot back, and then Reggie to Doug. And the Smith combination gives the Tigers a three-point margin. Norm Stewart playing uh, more zone than he has uh, ever in the past, I think. White couldn't get that one down. Bailey was crashing the boards right along with James Hamilton. The foul goes against Bradley. You know, zone was effective the other night against Arkansas. Hamilton picks up the foul, his second. The Tigers have a three-point lead and the basketball with 10.37 to go in the first half. James Hamilton is out of the lineup. Bastock comes back in. Number 42, Andy Bastock started the game and hit five quick points. Booker goes to Heller at the baseline. Doug Smith with a 15-footer. Crudup wins the volley, can't get it in the basket though. And that's run down by James Bailey, the junior from Houston, Texas. And Javon wanted a foul on that play. No whistle, and back come the Bradley Braves. Stucky on the outside. Houston on the turnaround. Heller won't get the rebound, and the volley goes to Missouri's Reggie Smith. Crudup, rounded by Bastrop. White knocks that out of bounds. Off Charles White. Tigers ball from the baseline. Dan Albeck, his 19th year as a college coach, seven years at the Division I level, five of those with the Bradley program. And on the steal, Charles Wright. Stuckey in on Reggie Smith. 14 for Curtis Stuckey. Good spin move there by Curtis. Norm Stewart, I think, went in the offensive foul. It's a one-point game now. Missouri with the lead and the ball. Brad, the Braves continue to stay in that 1-3-1 uh, zone. Keller can't make the catch. He goes back to Bradley. Off the Tiger bench, Jamal Coleman. we will check in right now. Jamal Coleman in for Reggie Smith. So it's Coleman, the junior, in for the freshman. You see the pass right here. What he needed was a little lob pass. Put it up high and let Heller at 6'11 go up and get it. Five turnovers for Missouri now. Only one missed two for Bradley. And Bradley has turned the Tiger mistakes into seven points. Heller comes out to get Stuckey. The Tigers stay in the zone. Doug Smith comes out to play the point in that zone with White handling the ball. It looks like 3-2. Uh, Always effective. Oh, there's the Oh, Doug back. Smith. Melvin Booker to the front court for the Tigers, who lead by one. Well, Smith on the top of that zone really is, is a problem for teams, well, because of his size and then his quickness to recover and get back. He got back to the baseline to make the last steal. Going to have to pass the ball, I think, uh, Missouri more against the zone. you got to move it. Let the shots open up instead of hunting for him yourself. Well, there's one, Gary. Six points now for Crudup. And he was wide open when he received the pass at the baseline. A three-point Tiger lead. Tigers stay with their zone. Houston nodding to his players saying, yeah, I'm open. How about putting it in here? Bailey missed the shot. Out of bounds to Bradley, but Stuckey was denied underneath. Here's Jim Horton in for Missouri. 6'10", 243 pounds, a junior from Columbia. Horton is in. Crudup comes out. Horton's been having some quality minutes uh, off the bench for Missouri. But in fact, had his career uh, minutes of 14 in that Creighton ball game. And picked up his second career assist with a nice pass. He has not seen that much playing time, as Gary told you. In a game like this, where rebounding is important, Horton could play a big role. Missouri outscoring Bradley in the front court, 18 to 7. Of course, uh, Bradley's going to have the advantage in the back court. Stucky. Bailey, and it's goaltending on Heller. James Bailey's first basket comes by way of the goaltend. 8:02 left in the half. 26-25, Missouri. See Bailey penetrate right here in the left hand. He really puts the ball up high, and then no doubt about it, Heller takes it right out of it. He was coming down. Bowman and Booker play on the outside. Good defense that time by White. He is the best defensive player, too, and not taking the up fake and staying down. Houston deflected the ball. Now Bailey in the lane, taken away by Heller. Here comes Doug Smith. Basket and one for Doug Smith. A bad foul for Bradley because Doug Smith was not going to be denied that basket. And Doug has a chance to make this a three-point play. White gets the foul. That's his first. You see a kick out right here. Good pass ahead. Allows him to beat the defensive man. And then just a touch foul. If you're going to go after him, you want to go after him hard to make sure he doesn't get the ball up to the basket. 
But Charles White sends Doug Smith to the free throw line. The senior from Detroit misses the first Tiger free throw. There's Horton for the putback. Nice job. Rebounding, getting inside, but then taking it with the left hand and coming from the other side. So the Tigers do make that a four-point play and lead 30-25. to 25. Doug Smith got the first two. Horton finished it off with a rebound and a basket. Fast dock on the far side of the floor. Now around to White, who shoots for a three. That spins off to Reggie Smith. Smith sealed off nicely on Bastock. Doug Smith stops and pops. Count it. Reggie Smith, good look ahead to Doug Smith. 12 points now for Doug Smith. 32-25 Missouri. We're down to the seven-minute mark left in the first half. Tigers have been out running now. Bradley missing some shots and getting out on the break, and they've got some easy baskets. That's Houston throwing it off the glass, and his first basket was hard-earned. And they tell us here at Bradley that if he has a, a great game, or a good game, Houston that is, then Bradley's usually in the ball game. He had a 10 rebound game against Loyola Marymount. That was a win. And 24 points in a win against Chicago State. Bradley stays in his own. Crudup will come back in at the next opportunity for Missouri. He's at the scorer's table. In the meantime, Jamal Coleman finds Reggie Smith. The Missouri lead, 32-27. 15 on the shot clock. That's Heller accepting the pass and then running it down. Jim Horton goes up for the catch, but he's called for a foul, or is he? No, it's on Charles White, his second for Bradley. Coming in for White, Adam Carl. James Hamilton checks back in with Bastock leaving. One and one now for the Missouri Tigers. That's the seventh team foul on Bradley, so Missouri's in the bonus. And Jim Horton, who's got a rebound and a basket off a missed Doug Smith free throw, will shoot a one and one here. Horton from the free throw line is two for two this season. We have a lane violation. One and one for Horton, so he gets a break. James Bailey was in the lane too soon, so Horton will get another shot. The last time Missouri was shooting, I think it was the last time uh, Bradley had the lane violation too, and that took their time and made the free throw. So Horton is three for three from the free throw line. By what shot? What? Mentioned his Arkansas performance. He's three out of five in that ball game, six points. Horton was one for two on that play. Adam Carl, the freshman from Northbrook, Illinois. Runs the offense now. They feel he's really going to be a good point guard for the Bradley Braves. Whereas Charles White does so many things defensively, but doesn't do that good a job at running the team on offense. And Adam Carl, a walk-on. First year. They're not all that impressed with Carl's scoring, but they do like his ability to make the pass and find the open man. Missouri in his own. Near steal for the Tigers, saved by James Bailey. This kid's dad, Carl's dad, was, uh, well, he's, in fact, his sixth all-time scorer here at uh, Bradley. Played back in the uh, 50s and early 60s. Long rebound out to Missouri's Coleman. Here comes Doug Smith. What a play! Oh. Doug Smith scores and has 14 points. Cut, cuts back behind the defensive man, John. Good move for his size, and then dunks it. Showtime for Smith and Missouri. The Tigers lead 35-27, and we'll be right back. This is the Mizzou Sports Network. KBSI Fox 23 is proud to bring you the basketball games you want to see. Missouri Valley Conference, Southeastern Conference, and Mizzou. To get your free KBSI basketball schedule, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to KBSI Basketball Schedule in care of KBSI Fox 23, 806 Enterprise, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, 63701-7571. Remember, only self-addressed stamped envelopes will be accepted. So send for your free KBSI basketball schedule today. You won't want to miss a game. I always try to feed my family a balanced meal, and IGA makes it easy with special prices on great products. 
This week, IGA has Green Giant frozen vegetables for only 99 cents. Five-pound bags of gold metal flour are just 79 cents. And Northern Bath tissue is only 99 cents. IGA always helps me balance my budget and still cook a balanced meal. The Continental Regency Hotel in downtown Peoria is a great place for professional meetings, exquisite comfort, and leisure luxury in between. For more information and reservations, call this number 309-674-2500. You want to see a big time play, folks? Here it comes from Doug Smith of the Missouri Tigers, number 34. Right there is where he stepped behind, let the defense slide, pass, and then lays it up, dunks it down. 14 points, he's averaging 16-8. On the front line, the Tigers have outscored Bradley 27-11. Now the Braves come back after the timeout stuck. He's open, he found a seam and got fouled. If he doesn't score, Gary, some way he ends up at the free throw line. Well, that's... Uh that's his abilities right there, is not only to shoot the outside shot, but penetrate. And watch, it, watch here how he gets it, quick. When he released it right here, it's up and gone. That's slow motion, but that, pass, that shot was up and gone before the defense had time to react. Stucky is two for two from the free throw line. Back in for the Bradley Braves, Charles White, and James Bailey goes on. Stucky has scored 14 points, two three-point baskets. Story on that young man there, Bailey. You notice he has a, a bent right arm, and that's been since birth. He was born to that. There's a muscle and nerve damage, but he's been able to adjust with that handicap. 15 now for Curtis Stucky. Well, it's a problem for James Bailey. He just hasn't scored that much. One good game, 20 against Loyola Marymount. But his next best game, nine points against UC Irvine. 16 points now for Curtis Stucky. Missouri's lead is 35-29. Prior to that basket, Missouri made a 17-6 run here. Jamal Coleman. Doug Smith goes up over White, and after the spin, he can't get the shot down. Charles White clears it out for the Braves. Two things that have happened right now in this ball game: Missouri has been able to run better, and they've been, they've been getting back on defense better and shutting down the Bradley's running game. The ball goes over to Missouri because it was dribbled on the end line by Curtis Ducky. Again, it was Doug Smith coming from the point in the zone defense all the way to the baseline. Really fouled up the Braves. Well, his speed, he's a really a factor uh, on the top of the zone. Four minutes and 48 seconds left in the first half. And I think headline news here is that Doug Smith hasn't committed a foul. Bastock in for the freshman walk on Adam Carl. The Tigers are not in any real foul trouble. Jeff Warren has three. And beyond that, no problem so far. Heller has come in. Horton has played well. This is Heller stepping up, finding Doug Smith. Fakes Bastock off his feet and scores. Boy, I thought Heller missed him right there because he's open and all of a sudden a quick shovel pass and he was able to get it there. 37-29 Tigers. Again, Smith sets up at the point in the zone. This is Hamilton out high. And this zone is stymied. Uh, Bradley. Inside Xanthus Houston shooting over Heller. Doug Smith gets the ball after Heller had touched it, keeping it away from Xanthus Houston. Tigers try to build on their 37-29 lead. Heller is banging it on the inside with James Hamilton. Goodup is fouled by Houston. That's the first on Houston. The eighth team foul on Bradley. So one and one for Missouri. Oh, look, Houston right here. They come down. Crudup rolls down, and Houston coming late gets the foul. And he's a guy that's had a lot of foul troubles, too. Uh, last year had 12 disqualifications, and, but this year's kind of gotten himself straightened out. And here's Smith and Houston, guys that have been prone to be in foul trouble early, both only with one. Crudup can't get the bonus. Heller keeps it alive. Out of bounds. Bradley will take it. Melvin Booker touched the ball as it went to the end line. And we have a timeout on the court at 3.48 left in the half. Missouri 37, Bradley 29. More basketball is coming right up on the Mizzou Sports Network. Last year, J.D. Power & Associates ranked my Buick LeSabre the most trouble-free American car. This year, LeSabre is once again ranked most trouble-free. And to the competition who said, wait till next year. It is next year. Get the facts. Buick is better. And now, for a limited time, get up to $3,000 cash back direct from the factory on select Buick models. But you must buy now. 
test drive the most trouble-free American cars at your better Buick dealer. Do it today. What kind of insurance do you need? Well, there is an insurance company that offers a full range of insurance for all your needs. That company is Farm Bureau Insurance, and we offer car and truck insurance, homeowners and renters insurance, farm and crop insurance, health and disability, and life insurance. Farm Bureau Insurance. For all your insurance needs, all you need is us. I can't believe all the money I saved, thanks to you and you. You're welcome. Yeah, you really saved on all these values. Santita's tortilla chips, pre-priced to $1.89, just 93 cents. Jumbo Viva towel, 79 cents a roll. Tombstone pizza and selected varieties, just $2.98. And remember, at Shop and Save, all our top quality meats come with a double your money back guarantee. The more you shop, the more you save. You've got it all on Shop and Save. Staff Game Recap is sponsored by your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent. Farm Bureau Insurance, where belonging makes a difference. In the first half, the Tigers have shot 63%, really getting hot after the first five minutes, Bradley 52%. While on the front line, the forwards in the center, bounce scored Bradley 29 to 11. The top two scorers, Curtis Ducky 16 for the Braves, and Doug Smith is putting on quite a show tonight for Missouri, also to 16. Well, we said it was uh, outside for uh, Bradley and inside for Missouri, and there you see the top. Two scores, an inside score uh, for Smith, Missouri, and then Stucky, the outside threat for uh, Bradley. Mark Dietrich, a freshman, is in at the guard now, number 13 for the Bradley Braves. 37-29, Missouri, under three minutes, back three minutes and 35 seconds to go. I think it's only for Missouri. The other thing is done is allowed to, allowed him to uh, spot up easier on Stucky. He was getting free in the man-for-man -man, uh, with some picks and... Dietrich in the corner. Back up to Stuckey. 16 on the shot clock. They reset the offense with Charles White running it for the Braves. Dietrich in the middle for Stuckey. Stuckey with that drop step. Loses the ball. And in the flurry, it's tied up by Crudup. It's Bradley's basketball. Stuckey went to the court along with Hamilton. So Bradley will play it in from the baseline with 3.05 to go in the half. Missouri looks like now box and one. I know Smith is chasing through with uh, Stuckey. Last well, couple, three times. How many times have you seen Missouri play a box and one? <laughs> not very many. I was going to say this is this is not old-fashioned Stewart basketball when you see that zone out there. But I think the thing you got to give him credit for is he's doing what he thinks he has to do to win a ball game, and it's been effective. He's changing defense right with the box and one. The look at the three-two zone. But Doug Smith has made a big difference tonight by one staying out of foul trouble by being so quick in that zone to not only interrupt play out at the point but to get back to the baseline and to either deflect the ball or steal it. Missouri out rebounding Bradley 17-9 uh, on, the, on the season so far the rebound margin is about seven. This is Dietrich. Hamilton rebounds inside. His shot is blocked by Heller. Here comes Reggie Smith from Missouri in on White to Doug Smith. Now that's a creator on the break. You can see Smith all the way. He takes it strong, takes the defensive width, and knowing Smith is trailing, then drops it off back. Good play by Smith. Smith has scored 18 tonight, and the Tiger lead is 10, their biggest in the game, and the Tigers get the ball. Out of bounds off Curtis Stuckey. Reggie Smith will inbound for Missouri, and he has done a nice job defensively. A 10-point Tiger lead may be more after this trip. Reggie Smith, Melvin Booker playing the backcourt for Missouri. Doug Smith inside for Heller. Heller tries to keep it alive, does to Doug Smith. He can't get the shot down. There's Crudup tipping it to Stuckey, but Crudup gets it back. And a foul on Heller for going over the back of one. Going back to the original start of that play, what I'd like to have seen Heller do is instead of that taking that half jump hook right there, was take it and power that ball to the basket. I think he had the advantage enough where he could have taken it strong. Well, here's the last flurry. Could have simply took the ball away from Hamilton. Right. Goes back and gets it. Goes up, gets that little quick shot off, and then Heller over the back. The Tigers are over the limit now as Heller commits his first foul, 17th foul on Missouri. One and one now for Bradley, but 2.13 left 
in the first 20 minute period. Charles White to the free throw line. Not only does he play point guard, he plays some small forward for this team. 13 points against Texas El Paso, and he has three tonight against Missouri. He had Bastek out of the, the lineup for quite some time. He had two fouls, and, that, and that's been a problem for him, too. He was doing a good job. Two free throws for Charles White. He's 14 for 15 from the free throw line this season for the Braves. He has four points. That's something to keep in your mind if you go down in the tight ball game. Let's send him to the, the line. Now keep him away from the free throw line. Good up at the point now in the Tiger offense. Booker's open and misses on the try for three. Line drive rebound to Stuckey. Didn't get the shot down, but a nice job of receiving the pass, accepting it, and stepping in so he got into the flow and rhythm for the shot. White with a bullet pass inside for Houston. That's got to be steps. You catch the ball, you step out one, you step out two, and turn. Houston got the basket, no call. 39-33 Missouri. This is a big possession for Missouri. Doug Smith's baseline jumper won't go. But there's Crudup for a rebound. And he stepped on the end line. Bradley gets the ball back. Well, the Tigers, Javon Crudup, you know, stepped out of bounds. Doing a good job of hitting the offensive glass. Lamont Frazier, number 22, comes in for Javon Crudup. I say for Crudup, for Booker. Booker goes to the bench. Crudup sets up on the other end for Mizzou, along with Frazier. Lamont, of course, a nephew of former Tiger great Ricky Frazier. On the inside, Crudup! He tipped the ball away from Houston. Now here comes Doug Smith. A very aggressive Tiger defense out of the zone. Good anticipation. I think that's a good point, Rod. Aggressiveness out of the zone. So many times players get the zone, they think they're going to rest and relax. You've got to be as aggressive or more aggressive in the zone. On the other end, Javon Crudup scores points seven and eight. And Crudup stays right with Stuckey. Now they're back at 3-2. Cedric Smith in there. Stuckey throws up a shot that won't go. Doug Smith can't get it. Hamilton dribbles the ball out of bounds to Missouri. 42 seconds left until halftime. You see the time there on your screen. 41-33, Missouri with the lead and the ball, Gary. And uh, Reggie Smith that time doing a nice job of blocking out on James Hamilton. 6-7 and Smith at 6-2. Doing what you have to do when you're outside. Fundamental, strong fundamentals. Check off. With the shot clock off, under 30 seconds until halftime, Frazier and Smith will play a game of catch. And now Lamont Frazier looks to Norm Stewart for the assignment. And the clock winds down here in the first half. The Tigers ahead 41-33. Bradley stays back in the zone, Gary. And they're playing soft. A lot of times you see people come out in this situation, attack, keep one back, one man back. Now Frazier steps up. His first shot, it won't go. Heller can't get the tip and time runs out. Boy, they had two cracks at it. Good shot and had a good tip. After the first half of play in Peoria, Illinois, the Tigers lead the Bradley Braves 41-33. Now let's take a moment to recognize our sponsors. Travel arranged by Eastern, the airline which invites you to buy a coach ticket, pay a coach price, and stretch out in the comfort of first class. Eastern with service that's second to none. Looking for the perfect Gulf Coast vacation? Discover the Sandestin Beach Resort, a beautiful 2,800-acre family retreat on the Gulf Coast of Florida. Offering seven and a half miles of beachfront, two private championship golf courses, and assorted water sports. For reservations, call toll-free 1-800-277-0800. Football is brought to you by True Value Hardware. You can do it with True Value Hardware Store. By the Missouri Lottery. Remember, you can't win if you don't play. By Shop and Save. The more you shop, the more you save. You've got it all at Shop and Save. By your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent. Farm Bureau Insurance, where belonging makes a difference. And by Bush Beer. Head for the mountains of Bush. There aren't any fax machines or PCs to help you at this job. And your career path is largely determined by the mood of your heart. So why would anyone choose to work up here in the mountains? Maybe it's the fringe benefit.
Christmas shopping? How about something unique? This Norelco clean air system with three-stage filter removes dust, smoke, and pollen. The Comfort Plus ceramic furnace has no fumes, fuel, or hot coils for safer heat. And the Whirlpool Deep Heat Spa from Polynex has 154 jets to soothe tired muscles. Look for them at participating True Value hardware stores and home centers. Question, why have over 100,000 Cadillac owners switched to Lincoln? The answers are all right here. Presenting the 1991 Lincoln's Town Car. No other car can equal its smooth, quiet, and spacious ride. Continental, technologically advanced with front-wheel drive and a newly refined engine for greater power and fuel efficiency. Questioning Cadillac? Over 100,000 already have. Lincoln Town Car, Continental, and Mark 7. See them at your Lincoln Mercury dealer today. Yeah? Who call her? I can't call her. I should. She can't. Oh, Mom. Mark. Yeah, so. This guy? Dad. Holly. Really? Mom. Holly? Holly. Come on. Get off. Get off. Please. Now. Give your teenagers their own phone line and yourselves some peace. To order or for more information, call 1-800-866-6607. Southwestern Bell Telephone. The one to call on. Doug Smith has outscored Curtis Stuckey 18 to 16, and the Missouri Tigers lead the Bradley Braves 41-33 here at halftime in Peoria. Coming up, more of our halftime show from the Peoria Civic Center. Right after this reminder from your local sponsors. Still to come, a feature on Missouri wrestler Greg Warren, a visit with Norm Stewart. It's halftime. 41-33, the Tigers lead on the road at Bradley. We'll be right back with more of our halftime show on the Mizzou Sports Network. What do an astronaut and Miss America have in common? The University of Missouri, Columbia. Captain Dick Richards, pilot of the Space Shuttle Columbia, blasted off from MU in 1969 with a degree in chemical engineering. Debbie Turner, Missouri's first Miss America, plans to graduate in veterinary medicine after completing her reign. The University of Missouri Columbia, educating the nation's leaders for more than 150 years. KBSI Fox 23 is proud to bring you the basketball games you want to see. Missouri Valley Conference, Southeastern Conference, and Mizzou. To get your free KBSI basketball schedule, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to KBSI Basketball Schedule in care of KBSI Fox 23, 806 Enterprise, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, 63701-7571. Remember, only self-addressed stamped envelopes will be accepted. So send for your free KBSI basketball schedule today. You won't want to miss a game. Do you feel every time you fill up, you need to be applying for a bank loan? Is your old gas guzzler about guzzled out? Well, say goodbye to that old heap with a new Pontiac Grand Dam. At 31 miles per gallon, just think of the money you'll save on gas alone. And right now, you can get a new Grand Dam that's loaded with options for as low as $229.90 a month. Put your family in one of America's hottest selling cars, the Pontiac Grand Dam. See one of these Delta Pontiac performers today. Richard Simonette, Ponder and Ponder, Alan Christian, Martin Dales, or Bob Churchill. The Chicago Tribune calls it a witty delight with a gifted cat. From Second City Entertainment, a true offbeat treat. I'm a Klingon, not a fly. As original, inventive, and funny as any new comedy hitting the air this fall. One that could change your life. Change your life. Don't let this sly, quirky show get lost in the shuffle. It's a lot more than your average talk show. Huh? My talk show. Weeknights at 11.30 on Fox 23, KBSI. The Tigers lead by eight over Bradley at halftime, and we move from college basketball to college wrestling. Last year, Greg Warren of the Tiger wrestling team came so close to becoming an All-American. It's our pleasure at halftime to present this feature on Tiger wrestler Greg Warren. Meet Greg Warren, Missouri's 158-pound wrestler. At Kirkwood High School, he was a two-time state champion. Now in his final year at Mizzou, Warren is once again trying to become a member of the sports elite. I want to be an All-American, you know. I mean, there's anything short is going to just going to be what I did last year. Last year, that's when Warren came within one match of gaining his goal. 
Now it's a new season, one that finds him a preseason pick to gain his All-America status. Up until last year in the national tournament, probably the last few rounds, I don't know if I really ever believed that I belonged in the, you know, in the All-American circle or in the top eight in the country. And then uh, I came off, of course, and uh, from then on I kind of thought. And then with the, with the preseason ranking this year, you know, it felt good to um, know that at least uh, at least that some people thought that I belonged up there. The biggest problem you have is that they want it too much and try a little too hard and sometimes they need to say, hey, I'm going to let it hang out, relax a little bit rather than press them so hard. Sometimes they get up tight and that's one of the things I've noticed about Greg. He has a tendency to get uh, put too much pressure on himself. Greg Warren is someone who truly defines what college athletics should be about. He already has an advertising degree. As a matter of fact, he graduated with a 3.4 grade point average. And with that accomplishment under his belt, Warren can now set his sights on his athletic dream. I want to I get out there and, and compete. And uh, if I'm wrestling hard and uh, for some reason, you know, things fall short, then I can live with myself. But I think if I'm wrestling the best I can, then I can get up there and, and maybe do anything at the national tournament. I'm Brian Nooner reporting for the Mizzou Sports Network. I'll tell you what, we've seen an All-American work for the Missouri Tiger basketball program as Doug Smith has scored 18 points. The Tigers lead at halftime on the Mizzou Sports Network. Remember when life insurance was something simple you bought to help pay your final expenses? Back when benefits never went down and premiums never went up? And you could buy just a few thousand dollars of coverage for only a few dollars a month. Well, solid, affordable life insurance is not a thing of the past. I'm Ed McMahon, here to tell you you can still get cash value life insurance, old-fashioned security designed to last a lifetime for just $6.95 a unit per month. No, you don't have to buy $50,000 or $100,000 or more of coverage. You don't have to pay a lot of money either. This easy-to-budget life insurance will never go up in cost, and your benefit will never go down simply because of your age. Best of all, because of a two-year limited benefit period, you cannot be turned down. If you're age 50 or over, your acceptance is guaranteed. You are eligible for up to six units of coverage. For a woman age 50, that's more than $10,000 in protection that will never reduce simply because you grow older. There's no medical exam, not even one health question. That's not just a promise. It's a guarantee in writing from Colonial Pen Life Insurance Company. This information and guarantee of acceptance will be mailed to you without cost or obligation when you call this toll-free number. That's all it takes to start providing help for your final expenses. So next time someone says you can't get affordable life insurance anymore, tell them to call this number. Better yet, pick up the phone and call toll-free for your free information package today. Here's how. Call 1-800-392-2800 for free information about this valuable life insurance and you'll receive this handy guide to Social Security absolutely free. Call 1-800-392-2800 for your free gift and information. Call today, there's no risk or obligation. 1-800-392-2800. That's 1-800-392-2800. Experience the final weeks in the life of Marilyn Monroe, a compelling Hollywood tale that's never really been told until now. Maryland, something's got to give. A special presentation Thursday. Tigers ahead by eight points. Gary, let's take a look at some big plays. The first two involve Doug Smith. Well, I was like on the breakout. Watch uh, Reggie Smith here. Accelerates and makes the defensive man play him, then drops off to Doug. Here's another nice play by Smith, started by Chris Heller. A lot of times I like that bounce pass, but right there, the straight pass and the quickness of that pass made the play. 18 points for Doug Smith, but on the other side, Stuckey has scored 16. Well, and he got a lot of them early here, a little finger roll. He has good touch, an excellent offensive player. 18 points for Smith, 16 for Stuckey. The Tigers lead by eight. And when we come back, a visit with head coach Norm Stewart as we set up the second half. That's up next, right here on the Mizzou Sports Network. Lot. She likes all of us. It's our everyday low prices. We're getting crowded. That's because she got it all with values like these. Sunny Delight Citrus Punch, only 99 cents. Quaker Instant Oatmeal, just $2.17. Nestle's Quick Drink Mix, just $3.99. And remember, all our farm fresh produce comes with a double your money back guarantee. The more we shop, the more we shop. 
I wish mom could be here. You know how tough it would be on her. Well, I guess you can go. You know, it's something we've always dreamed of. It's just that it's so far away. It's a good college. You'll do fine. If we get to write <laughs> once a week to your mother. Hey, if you need any money, just let me know. Last year, J.D. Power & Associates ranked my Buick LeSabre the most trouble-free American car. This year, LeSabre is once again ranked most trouble-free. And to the competition who said, wait till next year. It is next year. Get the facts. Buick is better. And now, for a limited time, get up to $3,000 cash back direct from the factory on select Buick models. But you must buy now. Test drive the most trouble-free American cars at your better Buick dealer. Do it today. Soon after we moved in, our shelter agent asked to see the house she helped us buy. Lisa had shown us how to borrow from my universal life policy to make the down payment, and how reduced premiums plus a long-term health care option could make it easier to keep the house even after we retired. Then she gave us a gift that really made us feel at home. With Shelter's Universal Life, personal service is our policy. Stewart's Courtside Report is brought to you by Bush Beer. Head for the mountains of Bush. Let's head out to the court here in Peoria to Gary Thompson. Man for man, tough man for man defenses, but in that first half, I think the zone was responsible for this lead. We're changing, uh, Gary, and it has helped us. Uh, they had to, they really scoring off of us. The first seven, eight minutes, they had 21 or 22 points. We went to the zone, and we're we're a little more aware of where that shooter is, but we still haven't, we still haven't caught him completely. He's got 16 on the board, but I think it's changed and it's helped us a great deal. Well, you caught him in the last 10 or 12 minutes. He didn't score in the last five minutes, and he had 12 early, so you really were aware of it. Yeah, he, he got a lot of he got a lot of it early, and I think it's just made our kids more aware. But what we got to do now is concentrate on the other end. We didn't make as many mistakes as we have been making, and uh, we're making some adjustments. And I had some guys come off a bench. And, and do well, and that's what you need. I think we're getting a little more defined. We got 20 minutes to go. Before we were on here, I said I thought you had box and one, and you said, "Well, no, we didn't." But I thought Reggie was chasing the guy through, stuck he on the zone. Well, <laughs> Gary, that's one of those he may have been, and it makes a good defense out of it for about 15 or 20 seconds. Well, let's go ahead and close this one out. Coach. I hope so. All right, let's go back to John. Before we move on to the second half, let's take a moment to recognize our sponsors on the Missouri Sports Network. Tiger Basketball is brought to you by your better Buick dealers, where right now you can test drive the most trouble-free American cars. By the Missouri Lottery. Remember, you can't win if you don't play. By Southwestern Bell Telephone, the one to call on. And by Shelter Insurance. At Shelter, personal service is our policy. Look, Gary Thompson, I'm John Rooney. Here are the numbers from the first half with the Tigers shooting better than 53%. Bradley only 41%. Shows how that good Missouri zone defense did a job on the Bradley Braves offense. On the free throw line, the Tigers are 5 of 8. Bradley is perfect on seven shots. Only one three-point opportunity for Missouri. Two for nine for Bradley with both of those connected from uh, Curtis Stuckey. Turnover, seven for the Tigers, six for the Bradley Braves. And the Tigers about rebounded. Bradley, Doug Smith has 18 points, zero fouls. That's very big. Crudup with eight, Booker and Coleman with four each. On the other side, the Bradley Braves are led by Curtis Stuckey. Stuckey has scored 16 points, five for Bastock, Houston and White with four each, and no real foul trouble. Bastock got into early foul trouble with two quick ones and had to go to the bench. Now it's after the second half with the Tigers ahead 41-33, 20 minutes up on the board. That's your old friend Tommy Hawk right there. <laughs> That's original. Jamal Coleman, Melvin Booker will play the guards for Missouri. Doug Smith, Chris Heller, Javon Crudup will be on the front line. Tiger front line scoring, producing 33 points in the first half, only 13 for the Bradley Braves. Stuckey, White, Houston, Hamilton, and Bastock. The original starting five for this game, beginning the second half for the Braves. There's Doug Smith inside for Heller. Doug Smith shooting from 18. Stuckey can't get it, now he does on the second time around. 
again right there. I think Stuckey could advance that ball to Bastock on the wing and he have a chance to score. I, you know, the one thing is constant. Missouri, uh, we say they lost two games in a row. The one thing is remaining constant is they're playing good, aggressive defense. There's, what, up less than 42% shooting by Bradley in the first half. The only club to shoot better than 42% in the game is Arkansas, which was over the 50% mark. I'll tell you what, Gary, going back to our last telecast, it's no disgrace to lose to Creighton, a team that has come a long way to Tony Baroni. You know, that's just a new team. Yeah, they picked to, to win the Missouri Valley. That makes it a 41-35 lead for Missouri. Bradley still in it. Well, they start 1-3-1. They look like they flex out of a little bit and into a 2-3, even a 2-1-2. A two -two. Coleman and Booker on the outside. Booker misses. Heller keeps it alive, but right to Hamilton. Stock back out front to the playmaker Charles White, a sophomore, right here in Peoria, Illinois. Stuckey. His shot won't go. It's out of bounds to Missouri as Bastock loses it out of play. Well, Stan Albeck really getting on the fistles right now. Wanted to call, but I thought a great job of Missouri Tigers again. Taking Stuckey into traffic, keeping the hands out of there, and we got a tee on Albeck. Technical foul on Albeck, two free throws for Missouri, and then the Tigers will have the ball. 41-35 Missouri. Albeck is still barking. John Stewart is calling his Tigers over to the sideline. All but Doug Smith, the man at the free throw line, shooting two shots on the technical. Doug is three out of four from the free throw line now. 19 points. The Tigers lead 43-35. And Missouri's ball out of bounds. Coleman on the outside. Javon Kuda from the baseline guarded by Hamilton. Good pass. Doug Smith's open. That turns out to be a four-point play. Doug Smith has 22 points. 45-35 Missouri. Long shot for the corner one goal for Stuckey, but right there is Hamilton. He hesitated and walked with the ball. He couldn't believe he was all alone, Gary. No, that and I think the size inside intimidated him a little bit on taking it back up. And there's a tendency to start shuffling those feet. We'll see now the, the technical by Albeck has not excited anybody as far as the crowd is concerned yet. Very excited Missouri, though, for four points. Crudup with a nice catch, even though Hamilton got a hand on the ball. Crudup can't score. Heller does. Good job by Chris. We talked about his offensive rebound. He's just been doing a super job for the Tigers with his offensive glass this year. White calls a timeout. Timeout on the floor. 17-29 left in the second half. Missouri with its biggest lead, 47-35 over Bradley on the Mizzou Sports Network. I can't believe all the money I saved. Thanks to you and you. You're welcome. Yeah, you really saved on all these values. Santita's tortilla chips, pre-priced $1.89, just 93 cents. Jumbo Viva Towel, 79 cents a roll. Tombstone Pizza and Selected Varieties, just $2.98. And remember, at Shop and Save, all our top quality meats come with a double your money back guarantee. The more you shop, the more you save. You got it all on Shop and Save. My T-Bird was like a friend. So when that guy totaled mine, I missed driving it. I really did. I told that to Tim Lawler, my shelter agent. It's total. Tim gave me one of his famous grins. We'll take care of it. Two days later, he brought over a T-Bird a lot like my old one. I don't know how he found it, but I'm not surprised that he took the time to look. With Shelter Auto Insurance, personal service is our policy. Last year, J.D. Power & Associates ranked my Buick LeSabre the most trouble-free American car. This year, LeSabre is once again ranked most trouble-free. And to the competition who said, wait till next year. It is next year. Get the facts. Buick is better. And now, for a limited time, get up to $3,000 cash back direct from the factory on select Buick models. But you must buy now. Test drive the most trouble-free American cars at your better Buick dealer. Do it today. 
When traveling on business or pleasure, be sure to use National Car Rental. Dial 1-800-CAR-RENT. National Car Rental is the exclusive car rental agency of the NCAA Championships. Now, still barking on the sideline, Stan Albeck. His players holding him back right there at the break. Albeck was hit with a technical foul. The Tigers got two free throws and then a basket. And now the Missouri lead is 47-35. Bastock, a foul on Missouri. Heller fouled him before Bastock could go up with the shot. Well, you know, Coach will do that once in a while. I think Missouri's defense has been having, uh, making uh, Bradley play soft right here. They haven't had much movement and kind of lethargic. And I think he's trying to fire up two things, probably his own team and the crowd. Bradley's ball from the baseline, and that's Charles White inbound. So far, it's been an expensive fire up. <laughs> Stuckey can't get the shot down. Jamal Coleman brings it down for Missouri. In the front court, Booker. Booker avoids the travel with nice control of the body. And here's the other way to get your club turned around. Maybe go out and play, become more aggressive. They thought they were going to go man for man. No, they're staying zone. Doug Smith, 24 points for Doug. When Doug is open on that baseline, you give that shot up uh, there, he can hit that baseline jumper. Doug Smith came into the game fourth in Missouri career scoring. He's closing in on John Sunbold. Here's Stuckey. Heller with the rebound. Stuckey takes it away, and the loose ball tied up. The ball belongs to Bradley. Missouri put the ball in play to begin the second half. Well, that extra size in there is a factor for Stuckey on the penetration. He's having to elevate the ball. There comes Heller at him and showing that big hand. And you get the jump ball. Bradley on the possession. Doug Smith had a 24-point game against Oregon, scoring 20 of those points in the first half in that game at Columbia, Missouri on December 1st. Doug has 24 tonight. White with the ball for Bradley. 16-22 left in the second half. 49-35 Mizzou. And Gary, the Tigers are trying to put together a complete game. Something they feel they really haven't done this yet this season. Right, we're talking to Norman about closing it out in this second half. Another good job on defense for Missouri. Coleman can't take the pass from Booker. A little too strong. <laughs> Norm's smiling. He likes what he just saw, though. Aggressive play on defense, getting out into the break, and that almost connected. Yeah, I think the pass there probably thrown a little too hard. All he had to do is float that out, which makes it easier for the, the man running the lake to uh, the run in the lane to handle also. Three turnovers for Bradley this half, only one for the Tigers right there. A Missouri foul, and that will send Stucky to the line. For Chris Heller, three personal. Moves the base that way, Stucky goes up, takes it away, and then Heller right there on the arm. Three fouls on Heller. That is team foul number two on Missouri. And I don't think Basta liked what was going on for Bradley. A few words were exchanged on the court. And to the free throw line, Curtis Stuckey. 16 points in the first half, four for four from the free throw line. Stuckey's been to the line 41 times coming into this ball game, so it shows you that he can that he can go to the basket. And that hurts uh, all back right there. You look at your uh, superstar going to the line and uh, failing to get down to free throw, and you need some points to crawl back in this game. 17 now for Stuckey. He's five out of six from the free throw line. Doug Smith, the Tigers leading scorer, has 24. Of course, his career high in points came against Nebraska, 44, on February the 10th, 1990. That was Stuckey's first, the first point in the last nine and a half minutes of play. Kruda misses on the close end shot, out of bounds to Bradley, off Heller. Norm Stewart up off the bench, yelling out to Heller. Two hands on the rebound, two hands. That one was George. It's gotten fashionable. You know, the young kids, they watch the pros, and they see them go up there in one hand and suck them out of the air, and then all of a sudden it filters down into the, the college, then the high school. It's the best thing to do is get up there strong. Houston mishandles the ball. Doug Smith dances to the front court. Oh, finish it off, Doug. Finish it off. 26 for Doug Smith, 51-36 Missouri. Talk about pro players oh. snatching those rebounds out of the air. The ball looks like a yo-yo in some of their hands, though. Love to watch that guy play, Doug Smith, 6'10". Stuckey, that's a three. 20 for Stuckey, and that's his third three-point basket. 
Doesn't take him long to get the shot off. He'll just look you right now and raise up and shoot it. Jamal Coleman in the front court for Missouri. The Tigers are up 51-39. Under 15 minutes to go in the game. Jeff Warren will check back in for Missouri at the next opportunity. Bastok steals the ball and then loses it out of bounds to the Tigers. Heller out, Warren in for Mizzou. Warren saddled with three quick fouls in that first half. And I, I know that has to disappoint him as a player. Just comes off an excellent game against Arkansas, starting again, and then you get saddled with those three quick fouls and have to sit down. He was looking forward to playing a lot of minutes in the first half. Freshman Melvin Booker runs the Tiger offense. Doug Smith, 26 points. Make that 28. He's feeling it right now because I tell you what, at normal, if he wasn't having a real good night, he would have kicked that ball off to the wing. But right now, he's feeling that shot, and he's looking for it. 28 for Doug Smith, a season high. Hamilton lobs out to White. Hamilton from the free throw line. James Hamilton has six. Coming down to 14 minutes left in the game. You see the Tiger lead at 53-41 here on the Missouri Sports Network. The Tigers at Bradley. Coleman blocked out of bounds by Hamilton. James Hamilton, the freshman from Grand Blanc, Michigan. 6'7", 200 pounds. And does he get up on this one? Jamal Coleman gets an edge right there, but Hamilton comes through. Good support defense and makes a good block. Devon Crudup to Doug Smith. Wide open, and he missed that one. He got all glass. Here comes Charles White. Stuckey misses on the chance for three. Doug Smith just takes the ball down, but Stuckey gets it back. A foul on Prudup. I'm going to say again, I think the difference between a Smith and a Stuckey right now, Steve, is that Stuckey wants to be a little selfish. He had an open man again for two. Right over in the wing, but he takes it himself. Now he's got to go to the line and hit a pair of free throws rather than get an easy, easy two. Doug Smith is the kind of player, normally you see him, boy, he'll flip that, that pass to the open man right away. Reggie Smith comes back from Missouri. Jamal Coleman goes up. Gary, it's almost like Stuckey is saying to his teammates, get open so I can fake to you. Yeah. <laughs> that can hurt a young man like that. I'm sure they don't mind uh, Stuckey shooting the ball. But when you've got the pass open for the good easy shot for teammate, he has got to give that ball off if they're going to be effective as a team all year long. You just can't live with one guy. Stuckey at the free throw line is one miss tonight. 21 points now. Well, one of the greatest scorers in basketball, Michael Jordan. If he can find the open man, he'll make the pass. That's what makes you become tougher as an offensive player because they have to respect you and know that you're going to give that ball off. They just can't go spot up on it. Bastock keeps the ball alive. Now Stucky. White and around to Hamilton. I like this Bastock. He's a competitor, a hard-nosed player, and he plays the ball. White on the miss. Stucky with the line drive rebound. Keeps it alive. Hamilton in the corner, alive out to White. Warren, though, probably smart. He had a piece of the ball. If he wants to really hang in there and, and go for it, he probably picks up his fourth foul. Missouri in the zone. Crowd coming alive a little bit. Houston. And a foul on Hamilton, crashing the boards, going over the back of Melvin Booker. For James Hamilton, his third personal foul. And for the Bradley Braves, their first foul in the second half. Now Bradley will play full court, a full court press here because the Braves are trailing 53-42. Stan Albeck is reminding Hamilton and Bastock that we're in a full court press, come up and help out. But doesn't do much good. Booker to the front court on White. A lot of time on the shot clock at 35 seconds. Warren along the sideline now. You know, the difference I've seen in the two guards, uh, Reggie Smith and Booker, is that Reggie Smith is more apt to penetrate and take the ball to the basket than Booker has so far. Man to man now. There's Reggie. <laughs> Here's Doug Smith. <laughs> Too hard on the line drive bank shot. Tipped in by Crudup. Javon Crudup in double figures with 10. Well, the Tigers owned a uh, big rebound advantage at halftime and an offensive rebound, and they lead 12-8 uh, to eight in this ballgame. White from the three-point line. That's Hamilton. Touchdown. <laughs> Over the head of Bastock. Out of bounds to Missouri. Twelve, twelve, and counting in the second half. 55, 42. Missouri with the lead and the ball. The Tigers are trying to get back to 500, going for their third win. 
Bradley's been switching up the defense. They've gone man for man. I think it's helped them become more aggressive. Hamilton couldn't secure it. Warren does. Can't get it down. Kuda watches Curtis Stuckey take the ball for the Bradley Braves. Well, Jeff didn't get the shot down, but a good job of coming in and planning, staying away from the offensive foul. And then he raised up, got the good shot, just did not make it. Pass dot back to White, who's open from the three-point line. White only one for four on three-pointers coming into this game. And Bastock, a good look away that time, back into the middle, and then just flipped the pass out to the open three-point shooter. So now the lead is 55-44, Missouri, and a foul. The basket counts. Doug Smith gets the basket and is called for his first foul tonight. 30 points for Smith. Well, that's good news for Tiger fans to know that when Doug Smith picks up a foul in the second half, it's his first. But a great pass by Booker inside. 30 now for Smith. The Tiger lead is 57-44 over Bradley. We'll be right back. This is the Missouri Sports Network. I try to feed my family a balanced meal. And IGA makes it easy with special prices on great products. This week, IGA has Green Giant frozen vegetables for only 99 cents. Five-pound bags of gold metal flour are just 79 cents. And Northern Bath tissue is only 99 cents. IGA always helps me balance my budget and still cook a balanced meal. America, IGA. The tail toys are fun, you see. Now you can get them so easily with toy money. Look for Toy Money coupons on specially marked packages of Coca-Cola Classic, Diet Coke, and Sprite. You'll save one, two, up to seven dollars instantly on select Mattel toys. Toy Money! Toy Money! KBSI Fox 23 is proud to bring you the basketball games you want to see. Missouri Valley Conference, Southeastern Conference, and Mizzou. To get your free KBSI basketball schedule, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to KBSI Basketball Schedule in care of KBSI Fox 23, 806 Enterprise, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, 63701-7571. Remember, only self-addressed stamped envelopes will be accepted. So send for your free KBSI Basketball Schedule today. You won't want to miss a game. The Continental Regency Hotel in downtown Peoria is a great place to be for professional meetings, exquisite comfort, and leisure luxury in between. For more information and reservations, call 309-674-2500. Well, Doug Smith has had some kind of night. The senior from Detroit has a season-high 30 points. 30, not 24 points. Seven rebounds and only one foul. It's the sixth time at Missouri that Doug Smith has scored 30 points. So a 30-point game for Smith tonight. Again, his career-high 44 last year against Nebraska on February 10th. Bradley Graves with the ball, trailing 57 to 44. White, who had a shot for two, not three the last time down, gives it up to Hamilton. Hamilton banks that in in heavy traffic and has eight points. It showed a little strength there, because I thought Booker got a piece of the ball as he's taking it up from the backside. Missouri with the ball, ahead 57-46. This is Booker stepping up and dishing off to Warren. Around to Reggie Smith. There's Doug looking for the shot. Count it. Boy, that's a patent of Doug Smith move. And it goes back to the basket and the turnaround jump. There seems to get enough room in between himself and his defender to get the shot away, Gary. And good entry passes. you got to give credit to the people right now getting it, delivering the ball to him inside. Good entry passes away from the defense and that where he can take it and handle it. Jantus Houston with the rebound and the putback. Six for him. 59-48 Missouri. We come down to 10 minutes left. There's a lot of basketball to be played here in Peoria, Illinois tonight. But the Tigers playing a consistent game. Traveling call against Warren and Missouri. Warren doesn't argue, he just goes back to set up defensively. And John, I think, as you look at Norm Stewart coming up, kind of questioning things right now, but I think this is a, a, I think this is a big game in a way for Missouri. They've, I do too. They've lost two in a row. They've lost, uh, I think it's six straight road games now, which is unusual for a Missouri team. But with a young ball club to win and snap all these streaks and then win on the on the road, I think this is going to be a real confidence builder to come out and win this ball game. Good ball move at that time for Bradley. 
And the Tigers interrupt play inside. Bastock can't get a shot down. Warren clears it out to Booker. Then to Doug Smith. Of course, Anthony Peeler is set to come back for the second semester for Missouri. I like the poise of Kruda for a freshman inside. I know in high school, I'm sure he's a shot blocker. And oh, oh, the give and go. Kruda to Warren. We're going back to Kruda, but I was going to say, you don't see him swatting away and jumping and leaving his feet to try and block shots, even though he's 6'9 in here. He's just playing solid, keeping hands up. Boy, did that give and go open up perfectly for Kruda and Warren. Missouri Tigers, always a good interior passing team. The Tigers have outscored on the front court scoring. The Bradley Braves 49 to 21 tonight. That's an offensive foul on Kruda with Bastock getting in the way. For Crudup, three fouls. And that's five team fouls on Missouri in the second half. 61-48 Missouri. 8.52 on the clock in the second half. There's some washers wiped up from the baseline, holding up play. Norm Stewart finishes pacing and takes a seat in between Rich Daly and Bob Sunbold. Dan Albeck stands with his arms folded on the other end. You know, other thing on defense down here, look, well, Booker gets caught this time on the drive. But one thing I've noticed with the freshman Booker, he's starting to, to show some leadership qualities in there as a young man. When Stucky's going through and he turns him loose, he's talking to his teammates to let him know where he's coming and tell him to pick up. First foul on Booker and 16 fouls on Missouri. Only one team foul on Bradley in the second half. White way out to Stucky. Tigers stay in his own. Stucky for a three. Rebound, Crudup, and he's well, fouled. Oh, they something. have to call that. <laughs> Xanthus Houston on the foul, his second. The second team foul on Bradley in his half. I just heard Norm Stewart say, hey, there's six fouls against us and one on them. He said, we're just standing back in there in the zone. How can that be? <laughs> <laughs> Makes you wonder. <laughs> Chris get a, Heller getting a kick out of something Norm saying there, too. A little smile. Full court pressure, but he doesn't bother the Missouri Tigers. Doug Smith all the way. That's a foul on Doug Smith. And Doug's been caught with so many reaching fouls and and some touch fouls this season. That was no touch foul there. No. And I think that's one thing he's got to come off of is some of those. I mean, if he's going to get a foul, he has to get it aggressive by going to the forward strong or maybe a strong offensive move there where he just misjudges the defensive play. But he can't get those reaches and those little pity pat fouls. He's got to keep himself in. Doug Smith comes out, says something to the official. Norm Stewart didn't like the call. Doug went in and, and Doug is saying he was pushed on the play. But it wasn't his foul, it was Bastock instead. But it's Bastock going to the free throw line for a one and one as the Tigers are now over the limit with their 17 foul. Bastock has six. Sixty-one forty-nine Missouri. Lane violation. violation. Erase that one. A lane violation on Bradley. Stan Alba can't win an <laughs> argument either. <laughs> Missouri's ball out of bounds. A full court press now for Bradley. This is the third time actually that they've been in the lane. So Stan Albeck can't win that argument. He's had a tough night over there on the sideline for the Braves. 61-48 Mizzou. Good spin dribble by Reggie. Smith that time. Nice catch by Crudup. He got the boy is he strong. He got the basket in heavy traffic. 12 points for Crudup. Good hands and Reggie Smith had to really put some zip on that pass to get it through. Gary, when you see a team like Bradley go into the full court press, and Smith misses on the long shot, Stucky on the rebound, in heavy traffic, gives it up to White, and that's a shot for two. Charles White has eight points. Bradley finding something there in White. They're getting some outside scoring from him, which they haven't been getting. Sean Smith comes up to help on the double team. That doesn't matter. But when a team like Bradley doesn't press all that much, Gary, it makes it very difficult on the Braves to try to press to come back in the game like tonight. The Tigers mishandle the ball and the Braves get the ball. 
Back a timeout on the floor with 7.25 left in the second half. Missouri 63, Bradley 50. Stay with us. More basketball is coming up on the Missouri Sports Network. CSI Fox 23 is proud to bring you the basketball games you want to see. Missouri Valley Conference, Southeastern Conference, and Mizzou. To get your free KBSI basketball schedule, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to KBSI Basketball Schedule in care of KBSI Fox 23, 806 Enterprise, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, 63701-7571. Remember, only self-addressed stamped envelopes will be accepted. So send for your free KBSI basketball schedule today. You won't want to miss a game. Look, a two-truck family. A two-Ford truck family. No one knows more about trucks than Ford. They're the best-selling trucks in America. Exactly. The full-size pickup and the Ranger. They're both tough and both good-looking. Anything else? For business, farm, and family, see for yourself. See your quality Ford dealer for America's best-built and best-selling trucks, the full-size Ford and Ford Ranger, now with up to $2,100 in option discounts plus up to $1,000 cash back. Quality trucks from quality people. KBSI Fox 23 presents the Christmas Bargains of the Week. The following businesses have these great bargains to offer you this holiday season. This week we're at the Energy Store in Paducah where hundreds of quality stoves, refrigerators, washers, and dryers from Gen Air, Magic Chef, Whirlpool, and Frigidaire are being sold at unheard of scratch and temp prices. The Energy Store has the Tri-State Area's largest appliance selection at low, low prices. Hurry to the Energy Store, Old Benton Road, Paducah. This year is full of holiday specials throughout our area. Keep watching KBSI Fox 23 as we bring you new Christmas bargains every week. The second half game recap is sponsored by Shelter Insurance. At Shelter Insurance, personal service is our policy. Missouri is out rebounded Bradley, 32-25. Tigers doing a better job from the free throw line. And the leading scores, Ducky has 21 for Bradley, averaging 32 a game. Well, Duck Smith has 32 for Missouri, his season high. Still doing a good job on Stucky, and your remark about the pressure defense of Bradley, what it's doing now, it's going to open up the inside more for Missouri as they pressure out. That's Stucky for a three. He has 24 points. Coming all out now with that pressure. Doug Smith will come back in for Missouri at the next break. Good quickness in that uh, Missouri backcourt, though, and uh, Smith and Booker. Crudup. Bastock. Travel call on Crudup. The Bastock is all over the Tiger freshman. He was pushed as he took a step and trying to build a case. Critic will go over and take a breather with Doug Smith coming back in. That's what you were talking about, Bastock. He leaves the game for Bradley, but he's a very aggressive player, very physical player. Makes things happen. That's a 10-point Tiger lead with 6.48 and counting in the second half. Charles White, sophomore guard. This might be a big possession right here, I think, uh, for Bradley, uh, for them to get back in a ball game. They can cut it below the double-digit mark. Here's Sean Smith. Doug Smith rebounds for Missouri. James Hamilton missed on a scoring opportunity for Bradley. Jamal Coleman inside to Doug Smith. No basket of foul before Doug could get a shot away. That's only the third team foul. Three fouls on Xanthus Houston, three fouls on Bradley in the second half. Back in for Mizzou now, Chris Heller, number 41. He's replacing Jamal Coleman. Houston is out. And Kwame Brown, K-W-A-M-E. Kwame Brown, a freshman from Houston, comes in for the Bradley Braves. Doug Smith at the point. That's Reggie Smith. Booker out high. Warren is in on the front line along with Heller. Heller and Hamilton mix it up. Back out to Booker. Doug Smith at the free throw line. 30 seconds on the shot clock. 6.06 on the game clock. A foul on Heller. He fouls Kwame Brown. Four fouls on Chris Heller. See if you can pick it up. There you see uh, Heller coming through and giving a shove on the defensive here, Matt Brown. That happened right in front of the officials. So Brown with a one and one. Four fouls on Heller. Sixty-three, fifty-three, Missouri, and this is where Bradley has to really stand tall, Gary, and make those points with the clock stopped. Kwame Brown. Heller on the rebound. 
Well, they've had two possessions now, a chance to, uh, at the foul line and, and also the previous possession to cut this Missouri lead of 10 points. Reggie Smith, poked away by White out of bounds. That's a break for Smith and Missouri. Back in for the Tigers, Javon Pruitt, replacing Heller. First lead with four fouls and four points. Warren Stewart doing a nice job here of keeping his people fresh. Doug Smith, one-on-one -on -one with Kwame Brown, who blocks Ooh, the shot. Ball. The ball goes over to Bradley. Now, Kwame Brown has only played about 16 minutes as a member of the Bradley Braves, and that's his sixth block shot. Norm Stewart wanted the goal set into David Hall and pulls it on its way up, on its way up, he said. It's a 10-point Tiger lead with five and a half to go. Stuckey just threw the shot up after being tied up, taken down by Warren. There comes Booker, but White hooks it away to Hamilton over and back. Backcourt violation for Bradley. Missouri's ball in midcourt, Gary. It's a give-and-take ball game right now. Missouri could have taken this game and put it away, and Bradley, on the other hand, could have brought the ball game back and really made it tight. Been sitting right here on this 10-point 10, 10 lead. Now the Tigers try to spread out the Bradley defense. Doug Smith has scored 32 tonight for Missouri. Here comes Warren. The ball's pinned against the glass. A foul is called against the Bradley Braves. And let's take a look at the play. Here he sees the opening and goes strong. Jeff Warren, recognition of the defense right there, just took it to the basket real strong. Right here, a little hesitation. Then he took it in there. Strong takes it up, and that ball just blocked into the into the bracket. So what goes up doesn't necessarily <laughs> always get up. Kwame right. Brown with the foul is first. Warren makes the first of two. He has five points. Missouri's top inside defender. Three-time All-Stater in high school in Michigan. Swami Brown, no relation to Swami Brown, <laughs> goes out and Xanthus Houston. Xanthus Houston comes back in. You know, and the crowd liked him. They, they liked the name. Responded, yeah. And they liked that black shot a moment ago. Warren goes two for two on that trip to the line, giving six. Trying to break the ice on that 10-point lead. 12-point Tiger lead now. Little Stucky, now high to Charles Warren. Still sitting in that 3-2 zone, and uh, the back people, Smith and Crudup, have done a good job of playing defense against the post people. Reggie Smith knocks the ball out of bounds. Well, Stan Albeck wants Kwame Brown, number 25, back in the game. Exit James Hamilton. 42 left to play, 65-53 Missouri. This is Stuckey. That's a three. Well, that will fire up the crowd. He has yeah. five three-point baskets tonight. A foul. That's on Sean Smith, his first. Fifth team foul on Bradley. Missouri's ball out of bounds. Back in, James Hamilton. Hamilton for Houston. James Houston out. Jeff Warren will trigger the inbounds pass. Crudup helps out. And Reggie Smith will run the Tiger offense. 40 on the shot clock. Look for a back cut in here somewhere. Missouri's pulled high. He's on to that spread offense. The Tigers look for the good passes and the high percentage shot out of this offense. I think it was Heller that time. They they went for the steal and didn't get it. And then his man doubled back, and uh, Booker was looking for it. But the Heller, or rather Warren, wasn't looking for the ball. Smith was open a moment ago. Doug was saying, where was the pass? Here comes Booker. Book it. Boy, he did a nice job there of hesitating and relaxing up on the shot on the drive. He just raised up and took his time instead of forcing it. A foul on Warren. That was a reach foul. He's four. So Warren has four. Heller with four fouls for Missouri. Norm Stewart telling this club, and particularly uh, Warren right there, stay down, stay down. Four fouls on Warren, nine fouls on Missouri. So on the next foul, that'll mean Bradley has two shots each time to the free throw line. Curtis Duckey has 27 points now. 
He's at the free throw line. Six of eight from the line tonight. Seven of nine. 28 for Stuckey. Trying to get to the 30-point mark for the fourth time this season. 39 against Chicago State. 33 in a win over Loyola Marymount. And 32 against Georgia Southern in the season opener. 29 now for Curtis Stuckey. Timeout with 3.48 left to go. 67-58 Missouri over Bradley. Let's take a break right here. This is the Mizzou Sports Network. Last year, J.D. Power & Associates ranked my Buick LeSabre the most trouble-free American car. This year, LeSabre is once again ranked most trouble-free. And to the competition who said, wait till next year. It is next year. Get the facts. Buick is better. And now, for a limited time, get up to $3,000 cash back direct from the factory on select Buick models. But you must buy now. Test drive the most trouble-free American cars at your better Buick dealer. Do it today. When you consider everything the mountains have to offer, it's not surprising why anyone would want to work up here. Come to think of it, it's not surprising why they'd want to hang around after work either. If you're as old as this car, have we got a deal for you. You see, when you insure your car with shelter insurance, you may qualify for preferred rates for those 48 and over. With the Platinum Shield, you'll get the same personal service you come to expect. See your local shelter agent for details. The next University of Missouri telecast will be Wednesday evening, January 2nd, as the Tigers host the Memphis State Tigers. Game time, 7 p.m. from the Hearn Center, right here on the Mizzou Sports Network. There's a nice play by Missouri, Gary. Yeah, give him going. Watch Booker now go up right here. Instead of just putting it up, just kind of relaxed, and gathered himself, and put the shot up. Back to live action. Doug Smith can't get it down, and back come the Braves. That brings the crowd to life. That was a lot more effective than Stan Albeck's technical a while ago. They'll try for three, won't go, and on a line drive, it's Booker still. gets it. White takes it away, oh, and a block. shot blocked, and taking oh, it down, Doug Smith. Here's Reggie Smith to the front court for Missouri. Turnabout is fair play. Gets it blocked on this end. He comes back and blocks it on the other end. A big time play for Doug Smith, and this has been his game tonight with 32 points. A foul on Charles White. That's the sixth team foul on Bradley. Missouri will play it in. Norm Stewart, I can hear him talking to his team, but we'll go back. Here it comes. Here comes Smith right there. Look at him cap that shot on Brown. The important thing was there, he goes up and blocks it soft and just brings it down, and he controls it. Missouri's ball out of bounds, and Warren will inbound. I was going to say, Norm Stewart talked to club about moving, and this is what happens with a young club sometimes. When you get down to three minutes to play and you want to close out a win, it's just, you have to look to stand around instead of seeing, uh, continue to be aggressive and moving. Here's Stucky on the steal in the front court now. Dietrich, a freshman guard out high. And Dietrich's an offensive player. He's got the shot, and that's why he's in there. But he misses the opportunity for three. Javon Crudup, another freshman with the rebound this time for Missouri. 250 in counting with Missouri ahead 67-58. The Tigers won the first game in this series, winning at Columbia 86-77 last year. And the foul is on Curtis Stuckey, his second. That's the seventh foul, so the Tigers are on the line now for a one and one. While Bradley will shoot two free throws on each Missouri foul the rest of the way. That's the thing they've got going for him, Bradley, right now, is he can send them to the one and one and hope in the old days is to try and make a miss. From the free throw line tonight, the Tigers are hitting 75%, while for the season, they shoot at 64%. Just what we talked about in the opening moments of our telecast tonight. The free throw shooting has been a big problem. It's a problem here for Booker, who's now four out of seven from the free throw line. And this is where you have a chance. you got to make those free throws to close out the game. Oh, big block for Kuda. Kuda blocks the shot attempt of Kwame Brown. Reggie Smith to Warren. Count it. And that's a nice pass, because what he does, he puts it ahead of the man to run under Warren and get the layup. That could seal the deal for Missouri. 69-58, 2.15 to go. That kind of basket really hurts a team trying to come back.
Stuckey with an off-balance shot. Gets it back over Crudup. Loses it out of bounds to the Tigers. James Hamilton checks in for Bradley. We can see why Stuckey's a big rebound. I, I questioned those stats when I first looked at it. Averaging 6.6 .6 rebounds. Here's Brown. Here's Cruder coming across. They wanted the foul after the shot block. It's all back right now. <laughs> Look at it. He's pointing and he got fouled after the shot. Bradley foul called on Dietrich. Well, let's take that back. The foul was on Charles White, his fourth. Four fouls on White and 18 fouls on Bradley. One and one for Missouri. Reggie Smith puts his hands on the line now for Missouri. He's six out of eight from the free throw line this season. No points tonight. He had five points at Creighton along with four rebounds and four assists. In our last telecast on the Mizzou Sports Network. His free throw, a miss. The man who committed the foul, Charles White, has the rebound. All the way in. Crudup with another big and strong rebound for Missouri. No foul on that. That's crazy. Here's White. He misses on the putback. There wasn't a foul on Dietrich. He hammered Warren. There were four or five fouls in there, Gary. No call. We got it. We got to hurt. Reggie Smith. Coming off the court for Missouri is Melvin Booker. Now Booker has a mouthpiece. And he's going to get some attention over on the sideline. He lost three teeth in a freak accident in a military science class on November 8th. Missed a lot of practice time and got smacked in the mouth there. So the Tigers will go to the free throw line. The foul this time is on Dietrich, his first. Ron Dubuque is over on the sideline with Melvin Booker. He took quite a shot to the face, shot in the mouth. Hamilton comes in now for Brown. A change in the Bradley lineup with Doug Smith on the free throw line. Doug has 32 points. Four for five from the line tonight. 33 points, a season high for Doug Smith. He finally took the veteran to get uh, that crucial free throw down. Two free throws for Doug Smith. 34 for him, equaling the number on his back. A 71-58 Tiger lead. You see the time left in the game. A minute 40 and counting. Dietrich, the freshman, around to White. Hamilton back to White. They've got to get a shot out. They can't just uh, be choosy right now. Here comes Stuckey on the reverse. And it hit the back iron. Put up on the rebound for Missouri. Reggie Smith faking the baseball pass, finds an open one. Coleman can't hang on. It squirts through his hands, and it goes back to Bradley. Jamal just took his eye off the ball just a little bit, started to do something with it before he caught it. Melvin Booker back in for Mizzou. It's good to see that he's all right. Yep. Norm Stewart jumps off the bench and yells out no fouls to Jeff Warren, who's playing with four. At this stage, you want to make him shoot it down and keep the clock running. Stucky for three. Line drive rebound to Reggie Smith. Booker is picked clean. Here comes Hamilton in a three on two. That's White on the pull up. Ten points for Charles White. The Tigers probably have a big enough lead right now, but with Booker right there, he's going to learn is to stay under control. Don't get out of control. Timeout, 52 seconds left. Mizzou leads by 11 over Bradley. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. You can do it with true value. Do it yourselfers need good tools to make it right. Like this master mechanic seven and a quarter inch circular saw with a high torque motor, just $37.99. And their variable speed jigsaw, only $46.99, does automatic or manual scrolling. Then finish in no time with this powerful master mechanic belt sander, just $49.99 at participating True Value hardware stores and home centers.
we like to remind you the next University of Missouri telecast will be Wednesday evening, January 2nd, as the Tigers host the Memphis State Tigers. Game time is 7 p.m. on the Mizzou Sports Network. Percy yes, yes. Hawkins, number 33, out of Chicago, Illinois, playing with the Philadelphia 76ers. Now they've retired that number here at Peoria, Illinois. The Tigers have three timeouts to go. Zip for Bradley. As we look back here, uh, Bradley's only scored two points in the last three minutes. It, but for the Tigers, you got to think back to two big, spectacular blocks by Smith and Kruda when the game was still at the 10-point mark. And then an easy basket by Jeff Warren right. and a long pass to the front court. Warren was kind of back there cherry-picking and got an easy two points. He'll be back on the free throw line now. Sean Smith commits his second foul. Two shots now for the Missouri Tigers the rest of the way. That's the 10th foul on the Bradley Braves. Jeff Warren, a sophomore from Litchfield, Michigan. Eight points tonight. Two out of three from the free throw line. 41 seconds to go, and the Tigers are on their way to their third win, their first road victory, and that's very big for this young team. Right, break the string of uh, six straight road losses. But they haven't been against some cupcake teams either, going back to last year and uh, the games this year. A foul, and that's on Sean Smith, his third. Warren has just missed two, and Doug Smith kept it alive for Missouri. And Jeff goes back to the free throw line now for two more shots. Now, how does this speed up the game? <laughs> the two shots on the 10th foul, committed by a 10, is supposed to speed up the game. Well, they feel like you're not going to foul, but if you're in a uh, losing situation, what have you got to lose? You have to foul. Right. It, you went for one before. Now you got to hope they miss two, or they only make one of the two. So They might have to take this one back to the drawing board. The second free throw. Stucky rebounds for Bradley. Nine points for Jeff Warren tonight. Don't foul. Reggie Smith did, but got away with it. A three for White. Air ball to Doug Smith. He's fouled. So with 24 seconds left, Doug Smith will try to build on his 34-point performance tonight. 34 for the Tiger Senior. Again, another of the keys. You look at Curtis Stuckey uh, averaging 32 points a game for Bradley coming to this game. But Smith, Doug Smith, staying in the ball game, being effective for the Tigers as you look at the bench there with Bob Sunville and Norm Stewart. Two shots for Doug. 35 for Doug Smith. Well, you can just see the difference, the confidence of this veteran going up there shooting. It's like uh, I know they're in, and they are. 36. And he has hit six straight free throws after his only miss that came in the first half. White all the way to Hamilton. And tough for Bradley to get off shots. Sean Smith on the miss. And the other way it goes to the Missouri Tigers with 14 seconds left. Well, a good win right here for uh, the Missouri Tigers. We said it should be a confidence builder. The only other thing I think Norm Stewart would have liked it out of it was those young kids to hit some uh, pressure one-on-one -on -one free throws. Backcourt violation. Bradley ball with 10 seconds left. Chris Heller comes in. Javon Crudup out. Heller in. 10 seconds left with Missouri. Missouri up by 14. White on the miss. Oh, he he went up and strong. Doug Smith. A steal by Hamilton, but he's out of bounds. It's Missouri's ball with three ticks left on the clock. We'll see if we get a Hail Mary pass here to Heller releasing. Her. Well, Doug might have an S on his chest. <laughs> and he's looking for it, I told you. <laughs> Doug Smith. Oh, gives nice. Heller for the jam. Oh, nice, That's nice the game. Job, Doug Smith. Icing on the cake with Doug Smith, who scores 36 tonight, getting assi an assist on the last basket. The final score, Missouri 76, Bradley 60. This is the Mizzou Sports Network. Experience the final weeks in the life of Marilyn Monroe, a compelling Hollywood tale that's never really been told until now. Marilyn, something's got to give. A special presentation Thursday. Do you feel every time you fill up, you need to be applying for a bank loan? Is your old gas guzzler about guzzled out? Well, say goodbye to that old heap with a new Pontiac Grand Am. At 31 miles per gallon, just think of the money you'll save on gas alone. 
And right now, you can get a new Grand Am that's loaded with options for as low as $229.90 a month. Put your family in one of America's hottest selling cars, the Pontiac Grand Am. See one of these Delta Pontiac performers today. Cape GMC Pontiac, Perkins Motors, Blackwell Baldwin, or Jarvis Motor Company. This is great. I told you I'm right. Changed your mind? Diet Sprite with the great taste of Lyman. <gasps> Changed your mind about me. Oh, you changed your mind about your hair. Clear light Diet Sprite when you want to change. I like it. It's different. I like it. Get ready for the biggest bonus giveaway in Illinois Lotto history. It's called Three for a Million, and it's the best chance you've ever had to become a millionaire playing Lotto. Get ready for Three for a Million beginning December 19th. Friday. You don't stand a chance. It's one thing to have a client on death row. What do you mean there's no time? It's another when he's your friend. <laughs> I'm scared. Against the Law, Friday on Fox. A season high 36 points for Doug Smith as the Tigers beat the Bradley Braves 76 to 60. For Gary Thompson, I'm John Rooney. And from all of us at SNI Sports Network, happy holidays, everybody. We'll see you back here on January 2nd with Memphis State at Missouri. So long. Travel arranged by Eastern, the airline which invites you to buy a coach ticket, pay a coach price, and stretch out in the comfort of first class. Eastern with service that's second to none. Looking for the perfect Gulf Coast vacation? Discover the Sandestin Beach Resort, a beautiful 2,800-acre family retreat on the Gulf Coast of Florida, offering seven and a half miles of beachfront, two private championship golf courses, and assorted water sports. For reservations call toll-free 1-800-277-0800. Tiger Basketball has been brought to you by True Value Hardware. You can do it with True Value Hardware Store. By your better Buick dealers, where right now you can test drive the most trouble-free American cars. By Shop and Save. Remember, the more you shop, the more you save. You've got it all at Shop and Save. By Shelter Insurance. At Shelter, personal service is our policy. And by Bush Beer. Head for the mountains of Bush. University of Missouri basketball has been a presentation of SNI Sports Network. Tonight's basketball game has been brought to you in part by your hometown proud IGA. Come in and check out our specials this week. Enjoy the game. The game of life. Please, don't drink and drive. A public service message from Fox 23, KBSI. This is Fox 23, KBSI. From New York, this is Fox News Extra. Good evening. Here are the stories we think you'd like to know about tonight. At the White House, President Bush and the Soviet Foreign Minister announced another superpower summit, this time in Moscow. It's set for February. Presidents Bush and Gorbachev hope to sign a nuclear arms reduction treaty. In New York, John Gotti, supposedly the nation's most powerful mobster, was charged with ordering the murder of his predecessor and three other killings. The federal indictment also accused him of gambling, loan sharking, and tax evasion. If he's convicted, he faces life in prison. A commuter's nightmare in Boston this morning, an Amtrak train derailed at Back Bay Station. 264 people were hurt. This is the second accident in three years at that station. Back with more news right after this. KBSI Fox 23 presents the Christmas Bargains of the Week. The following businesses have these great bargains to offer you this holiday season. This week we're at College Music in Sykeston where they've been providing 43 years of quality service and musical instruments to Southeast Missouri. For the musicians on your Christmas list, go and see Collins Music. They have everything a musician needs, backed up with service on everything they sell. Collins Music in downtown Sykeston. This year is full of holiday specials throughout our area. Keep watching KBSI Fox 23 as we bring you new Christmas bargains every week. A lot of red meat. There is a new study that says you are twice as likely to get colon cancer. Switching to fish and chicken supposedly reduces the risk. 
The meat industry says the study's all wrong. Meat today is a lot leaner than when that study was done. In Massachusetts, 53 whales beached themselves. No one knows why. They showed up yesterday near the Kennedy compound at Hyannis Port. 43 of those whales died, but volunteers managed to save the other 10. In tomorrow's weather, snow will spread across the Great Lakes and into New England. And more than a foot of snow is expected in the Rocky Mountains. I'm John Rowland in New York. Good night. It's back. The slams, the bams, the dunks, the jams, the thrills, and the spills of college basketball. We're here at the Hoosier Dome in Indianapolis, Indiana, the ultimate destination on the 1991 NCAA journey to the Final Four for Billy Packers College Basketball. Today we'll look not only at who's most likely to make it here next March, but also at who's going to be making college basketball news throughout the season. We'll hear the reaction of UNLV at having their NCAA tournament shot restored for this season. You'll look inside the West, the East, the Midwest, the South, and the Southwest to find out which teams have what it takes to get here to Indy. I'll go one-on-one -on -one with Indiana's chairman of the board, Bob Knight. And how about the ladies? Well, we'll find out about the teams and the stars to watch among who could be the best female hoop teams ever. Welcome back to another season of Billy Packers College Basketball. We've got the Hoosier Dome right behind us, and you can imagine what it's going to feel like come March right here on these grounds. The Final Four will be coming to Indianapolis. We're going to take the next 60 minutes to take a look at what might happen in this year's college basketball season. It should be a great one, so stay with us. True Value Hardware presents Billy Packers College Basketball. Today's show is being brought to you by L.A. Gear, unstoppable in performance fashion footwear. By the new generation of Oldsmobile, official car for the NCAA championships. By Sharp Electronics Corporation, from sharp minds come sharp products. And by True Value Hardware. Got a tough job to do? You can do it with True Value Hardware Stores. Whether I'm racing 200 miles an hour or driving 55, I don't accept compromises. You shouldn't either. The car should be responsive, yet fuel efficient. Roomy, yet sleek. Not to mention affordable. Well, surprisingly, one car does all that and more. The new Cutlass Supreme. And in the coming months, we'll show you. When you take a look at any new Cutlass Supreme, you'll see. Here's one car that does it all and does it right. New generation You can do it with true value. For this Master Mechanic cordless drill and screwdriver is only $27.95. And the cordless Master Mechanic wrench with all steel strength is just $37.99. A revolutionary fiber steel ratchet is part of this Master Mechanic 27-piece socket set, only $29.99. And give the Master Mechanic tool center of heavy gauge steel just $44.99 at participating True Value hardware stores and home centers. I watched what I ate, worked out on my easy glider and lost 75 pounds. This is actual footage of Geek's home video.